Ahoy there, Captain Benzi here, coming at you with another video for Eve Echoes. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the recent ban of Eve Echoes, and indeed other apps, in India. We're going to talk about how we reached this situation, how it came to be, and then we're going to look at ways that players can kind of try and circumvent this to the best of their ability, and see if they can maintain a presence in a game that they clearly enjoy playing. Now, I am going to try and keep this as apolitical as possible, and I'm going to try and talk as fact and as bipartisanly as possible. I think bipartisan is the word I want to use there. Please forgive me if it's not. Now you'll also notice by the aspect ratio of this video um, that I'm actually recording this on my new laptop. I recently sourced an Asus ROG X13 Flow. I decided that now was the time for me to start doing a little bit more intensive content and I thought that now that I've got this set up and I'm playing around with it, this would just be a good video for me to sit down and try this out and see if the sound works and the graphics work and if I've got the setup basically working and hopefully you guys enjoy the hopeful increase in quality please do let me know in the comment section down below. And stuff like this, advancements to my channel, advancements to my content, are made possible through the entire community. My Patreons are absolutely fantastic, and every month they pledge and donate to keep this channel going and keep me doing what I'm doing and help me to improve, but even those of you who just watch the videos on YouTube, if you're letting the ads play and not using an ad blocker, you are still helping me, and that all really helps pay my bills each month and allows me to keep doing what I'm doing, so big thank you. Anyway, today's video, the ban in India. First of all, how did I even find out about this? When was the sort of alarm raised, so to speak? Well, it was actually on Reddit, the standard Echoes subreddit, reddit.com are Echoes, and I will put links to all of this in the description down below so you can see for yourself. First of all was this post here by user Nightwolf1308 three days ago from today. As some of you may be aware, from approximately 5pm UTC, there have been connectivity issues for folks living in India trying to log in. Over the course of the day, it has become clear that the issue is not intermittent, nor is it accidental. NetEase's games have slowly disappeared from iOS App Store, as well as Google Play, and the timeout on login continues regardless of network connection or service provider. While there is no official communication either from NetEase or the government here so far, not strictly true, there have been official communications from the government, as we'll talk about later. Um, explaining why this all is. Um, I get that it's not something that's probably been everywhere, but hey, we can only assume this is a continuation of the ban on Chinese apps and games that are deemed a risk to national security based on having too much user data being siphoned overseas. If this is indeed the case, then the current hack of using a VPN to log in and then disconnecting from the VPN, so latency becomes normal, will eventually stop working as it did for previously banned games like PUBG and MLBB. Therefore, it's with a heavy heart that I've passed on all my assets to my corp and come here to say goodbye. And this is heartbreaking to read. This is an active member of the community who is clearly engaged in the subreddit, basically saying, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry that these folks are now... Uh, you know, I'm so sorry these folks are now not able to play a game they're thoroughly enjoying. These are people in our community. These are our friends. They're our corp mates. They're our alliance mates. They're people we fly with and people we fly against. They are people who provide us with content in the game, with good laughs and all kinds of stuff. And they're not able to play because their government is telling them no. And I did look into this a bit more, and thank you for everyone who sent me links on this as well. India Today here has a great little article, Garena Free Fire and 53 other Chinese apps banned by Indian government in fresh uh, move, full list here. And I'm going to skip ahead for a second, move down to number 37, there it is, Eve Echoes. This means this is now banned by the Indian government, and it's... It's a bit of an interesting situation. Now, basically, the line from India here is that the government has said that these apps are prejudicial to India's sovereignty. Now, the, basically, there are other sources and information around this as well. What this article here says, um, that India has banned an additional 54 apps. Um, the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has released a 54-app uh, list that are recommended for a ban. Interestingly, it uh, includes Garena Free Fire, which is owned by Singapore-based Sea Limited, not even a Chinese app. So, what is going on here? 
Well, India has basically said that China is collecting too much data from us, um, and we think that this could be bad for national security because high-profile individuals could have data accessed that the Chinese government could use against them. Now, my first thought here is, and forgive me if I'm wrong, how many Indian government members are playing Eve Echoes? How many of them are using Music Plus MP3 player? Because these aren't just games. Some people were saying this was like India's crackdown on uh, like rampant kids playing games for too long, a way for India to try and rein in kids playing games. It, it's not, because so many of these things are not actually games, they are simply put, just apps primarily owned by Chinese companies, with the notable exception of Garena Free Fire, which is not owned by a Chinese company. But I'll be the first to say that, look, yes, games as a whole do collect entirely too much of our data. We give away our data way too freely to a whole list of different suppliers out there. Um, and notice I say games as a whole, not Chinese games, because if you want to sit there and complain that Eve Echoes collects too much data, and you're doing your complaining on Facebook? Have you not looked into Facebook? Or if America ever, anyone in the USA wants to complain about privacy, you need to ask yourself why so many American websites block access to European Union country, like people in European Union, rather than actually agree to the GDPR, which is there completely to actually, you know, help with computer privacy. This stuff is important to me. I've been a big follower and supporter of the Electronic Frontier Foundation for a long time, and I agree that we do give away too much data, but to ban Chinese apps and not Facebook and not Twitter, not Instagram, that's notable, that's bias, and that is downright hypocrisy, ultimately. The thing that ultimately needs to be said, though, in a completely non-political statement. I'm not saying that, you know, what's going on here is right or wrong. I'm just saying that if your pretense for banning apps is too much information is being given away, then you're missing some of the big ones. I'm, I'm sure you can still access Facebook if you're in India, right? You know, correct me if I'm wrong. I follow a lot of people on Instagram and surely they are accessing, you know, Instagram is owned by Facebook. It's the same situation where they're collecting and harvesting data. So, it's a bit of a hypocritical situation, but talking about that, ultimately, it doesn't get us anywhere. The simple fact is that India has banned these apps now and is making this move against China. Whether or not you agree with what China is doing, ultimately, it's hypocrisy to look at it one way and not look at it another. And I just sit here and say to myself, look, I think that in fairness, what you should be better doing is alerting people that actually these are likely to take a lot of your data, not outright banning it and controlling it. That to me smacks of alternative sort of stuff going on behind the scenes here. I can't play Eve Echoes, says a guy in India, because my government is worried that like some government minister is having his data hacked because of it. It makes no logical sense. But okay. If we accept this is the situation, the Indian government probably isn't about to back down anytime soon and reverse this change. So what can you do about it? Now I'm going to give a big thank you and shout out here to definitely not a, supp uh, not a supply here on Discord who has given me this wonderful list of information here. I can't really showcase this in game because I'm similarly set up myself anyway. Um, so it, it, it's not something I can do, but here is how you can try and protect your account and be able to play from India to the best of your ability. So first of all, you need to unbind your Google account, which means you need to go into the account settings of Google and set a recovery email. You then need to go into uh, Eve Echoes and there we are. I have the Twitter app with the accounts you want to bind your game accounts to, so set up a Twitter account. If you don't have one, set it up, it's completely free. You don't have to use Twitter, just get it set up so that you've got an account to bind your game accounts onto. Now, Twitter will ask you to verify your account. You'll need to do so through a mobile number, so please make sure you are prepared for that. Um, and get ready to verify a Twitter account. Now switch to the view of the Twitter account you want to bind to on the app. For example, if you've got three Twitter accounts and three in-game accounts, have Twitter account one open on the Twitter app, 
on your phone whilst binding in-game account one. Now, if you've only got one account for Eve Echoes, this is nice and simple. You need one Twitter account for the one account you're running, but if you happen to have three or four accounts for separate alts, you're going to need three or four Twitter accounts, which is where things are going to become a little bit more difficult in order to actually verify those Twitter accounts, but I'll leave that for you guys to figure out. You then recover the account on a device. It will create a guest account on that device, completely unbound, and deleting now will delete forever, so do not delete. This is basically you go into your Eve Echoes account, you remove the account, uh, you recover the account, and it will create that guest account. Now bind to Twitter, rinse and repeat for all your accounts, and you will now find that your Eve Echoes accounts are bound to your Twitter, which means, like me, I've got my Twitter account, um, I have my Eve Echoes. My Eve Echoes isn't actually bound to Twitter before anyone tries to hack me. Um, ultimately, if you bind your Eve Echoes account to a Twitter account, that is now bipartisan. It is not locked to any store. If, for example, you've got a Gmail account um, and you've locked that to your, uh, your Indian uh, Google Play and then you've bound your... Eve Echoes to Google Play, well that is now bound to the Indian Google Play Store. Binding to Twitter allows you to take this anywhere you like. You can go onto any different app store. You are not tied into an app store. Now, yes, you are going to need to download a VPN. Now it's interesting to see Turbo VPN is the one that Definitely Not a Spy um, suggests here. It is actually the one I would recommend as well. It's one I've been using since the government shut down um, the internet here in Zimbabwe a couple of years ago. They completely shut it down um, for a period. They tried to shut down Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that first, so we were all VPNing through. Um, then they literally turned the internet off when they realised that didn't work, completely forgetting that we're a landlocked country that shares its border with like five others. And me living in Vic Falls, I could walk down to the river and actually just hijack Zambian internet and therefore get word out from that. But anyway, that's off topic. Downloading a free VPN is always something I recommend having anyway. It's useful in a pinch and emergencies. The two that are recommended here are definitely not a spy. Turbo VPN for Android and Hotspot Shield for iOS. Now, I myself do not have any sort of influence with iOS. I don't know if Hotspot Shield is any good. Use with caution. If you've got another VPN that you know and trust, go with that. This is one that definitely not a spy recommends, but any damages to your device if this turns out to not be a good app, I take no responsibility for and definitely not a spy won't either, um, but it's just one clearly that I assume he's used in the past. If you want to set up a US Apple ID, open iTunes on a PC or Mac, sign out, and when signing in again, create a new account, input all the details you need, set your payment method as none, set billing address as something random in the US, it really doesn't matter all that much, doesn't check or anything, and if it asks for a phone number, an Indian one will uh, work just fine. Now, this again will work for Android as well. If you want to sign up for a, a Google account, you can do so on a computer with the VPN running, set yourself up with a US account, and there's different ways to do that. But ultimately, you don't need to with Android. You can do what I do, sideload apps. Um, a lot of my apps are done straight through sideloading. It's how I've got into betas and that in the past. In fact, it's how I originally started making content on CNC Rivals. Basically, if you head to the Eve Echoes official website, assuming that that doesn't get banned in India, um, um, you can just download an APK directly from them rather than have to go through um, the actual Google Play Store or whatever from there. This means an APK is basically an installer file. Um, you can then go through and install the game directly from that and it should work from there. And if that stops working, if India starts blocking that website, for example, then I'm sure someone in the community can supply APKs and we'll try and find ways to get that out. I know Void is looking into some interesting ways of making sure that Indian pilots can remain flying with us. Um, so, for example, I imagine there'll be someone in Void who will keep a fresh, up-to-date APK at all times that they can just distribute as required. That's basically how you're going to need to do things, and don't dally on this. Get this done now. Get it set up now whilst this is still possible. Basically, you're looking to bind your Eve Echoes account to Twitter rather than any form of store so that it is not tied to a store and therefore not tied to a country. Then you use a VPN and either sign up for an Apple ID or go in via the app itself. 
Now, there is the problem that yes, VPNs are going to cause latency issues. However, as someone who often has to play Eve Echoes on H plus internet, which is the old 3G, um, it's definitely possible. It's not ideal, but it's better than not playing at all. And until the Indian government either relaxes on this, which I can't see happening anytime soon, or just another route is found, this is pretty much your best bet. And I'm really sorry that it's come to this, like genuinely. I know people talk about China and sort of the Chinese government this and the Chinese government that, but ultimately, look, I, I think that there's, there's good reactions and then there's over-the-top reactions, and this to me feels very much like an over-the-top reaction um, that doesn't actually do what they want it to do. It's not like suddenly making you choose Indian games instead of Chinese ones, it's just making this really weird stand against India and I'm with India versus China and I'm just not sure what to make of this. I don't understand the politics of India against China and vice versa. I can only point out the hypocrisy in banning certain apps in uh, in China for supposedly taking data whilst not banning ones from say America that do exactly the same thing, or Russia. There are plenty of other countries I can list. I can show apps that have been known for harvesting data and sending back to those countries, um, and indeed their governments and things like this. And in fairness, you can say that, oh, but Facebook doesn't supply that to the government. Yeah, it does if it's subpoenaed for it. At the second time, though, does it matter? It's still people who shouldn't have access to your data having access to your data. So get a VPN, use a browser that, you know, stops tracking and things like that. I use Vivaldi if you're wondering why my browser looks so completely different. That's what I'm using here. I've used Brave in the past as well. That's another fun one. Um, but yeah, um, and I tend to use DuckDuckGo as my internet search provider, although it says Bing up there. I just hit D and it'll take me through. Anyway folks, that's everything for today. If you are caught up in this, I really hope this does help you. I'm going to leave that on screen again now so you can have a look and see um, what's going on here. Um, hopefully this helps and hopefully it keeps some Indian pilots playing Eve Echoes and keeps them in the game for just that little bit longer and hopefully there is eventually a resolution for this. I'm sorry it's come to this, I just hope I can help. Anyway, folks, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Please note, I am not getting into a big debate on politics and internet security and stuff like that. If you want to get angry and, like, you know, have those conversations, have them elsewhere, not in my comment section down below. What I want down there is support and help and sort of positivity of how we can go forward and actually fix all of this. Maybe you've got some other ideas that I've missed in this video. Check out the comment section for more. Anyway, folks, thank you for all your support. Happy sailing, and see you in New Eden!